Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the five ways I've lost close to 70 pounds in seven months. Let's get started. I'm going to first by start by saying this. You guys know, and I've mentioned it so many videos, that since age 14 I have struggled with my weight. I've told you guys this is the last time I'm doing it. I'm going to get to a healthy weight. I'm not in a hurry. I'll do it in God's timing. And as long as I'm not gaining my weight back and I'm losing something each month and consistently making good choices, that's what matters to me. That being said, I'm not a nutritionist or a medical professional and I haven't really earned credibility yet with you because I haven't lost and kept off this weight for a long period of time. So everybody needs to do their own research, see their own doctor, and do what works for them. I feel that's very important to say because I'm just talking from my own personal experience. So please do your own research and seek out a medical professional for you. So I'm going to say that first. Now, on to the five ways that I have lost the weight. Many of you know some of them. One thing I want to also say is you're going to see in the thumbnail that it is a picture of me at my heaviest. My heaviest weight that I've ever weighed is I'm five foot four, five four and a half. I kind of some doctors have have put me at five four or five four and a half, so I'm right in that range. And my heaviest I ever got was 305. Right now I weigh 196. My lowest I've ever weighed at that height was 120 for like one day. Um, but the lowest I've weighed since I've been married, and I got married in 94, was I weighed one, let me think, one, 155 was the lowest I got. So I'm not sure where I'm going to go with this weight right now. I'm just really thrilled to be below 200. So I'm just taking it day by day, month by month. But I'm going to tell you guys what's worked for me now differently and why I like it so much better than everything I've done before. Number one, I started off just making a few changes, not beating myself up, not going super strict, and just by making a few changes, not eating at night, that really helped me to lose my initial weight. So just starting off slow and easy help me. And that's one of my recommendations is whenever anybody wants to make some healthy changes, Rome wasn't built in a day. My friend always says that. You don't have to make all these hardcore changes. You can just make a few healthy changes and see how it's going and feel it out and see if it's a good fit for you. Because what works for one person may not be a good fit for someone else's lifestyle. And that's okay. So basically, and I took it meal by meal. So if I've never had a day that quote cheat day since August 1st, 2019 or a cheat meal, but I have had some days or some meals where I feel I over ate. So I'm taking it meal by meal. So if I have a meal where I'm going, you know, I could have made better choices. I make up for it on the next meal and I don't beat myself up for it. I think that is my biggest tip. That's number one. Number two, I know we've heard this so many times, and I never did this before. Now, before when I had lost a bunch of weight and I got down to 170, and this was about eight years ago, I was doing modified paleo. It worked great. I lost the weight, not eating the grains. The problem is, is I ate heavy amounts of carbs because I had a lot of fruits and vegetables, so I had constant cravings, and I was always thinking about food. That was not a good fit for me personally. Now, I am doing modified keto. I'm keeping to probably under 75 carbs a day. I'm doing higher fat, higher protein. So I'm not constantly thinking about food, and it works out really well for me personally because I'm not always hungry. Because if we always feeling, have you guys ever eaten a meal and you feel more hungry after you eat that meal, like a bowl of cereal? I used to call it my breakfast crack in the morning. And you feel like after you eat, you want more food. I used to feel that way. I no longer do because of the higher fat, higher protein. It's a good fit for me personally. Number three, if I want a dessert, I can have a bite. Like if I took a piece of cake, I could have a little bite of cake. But I actually don't have that much desire for treats and goodies. And I'm actually eating less keto type desserts. I used to make keto dessert type things all the time. I'm making them less and less. But if I want something, I can make it and I can make a keto version of it and have a portion, which is a really good idea. That way I can have the things that I want but I can make a keto version, and so there I don't feel deprived. That's number three. 
Number four, this is key for me, intermittent fasting. My eating window is from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m., a five-hour window. Not that I couldn't have something else if I want. I could. And if I want a little bite of something, I have it. But I don't go extreme. So if one of my friends said, hey, Dawn, do you want to bite a cake? I could have a bite of cake. I just don't eat the whole cake. <laughs> and number five, I'm not weighing myself every day or weighing myself constantly. I probably weigh myself once a week to just check in. And if I haven't lost any weight, I don't beat myself up. I know what I need to do to lose weight. I know what I need to do to keep my weight off. And I'm going to say with this, I know a lot's going on in the world right now. There's so many unknowns. I don't know a lot of the answers, but I do know this for myself. I can't control what's going on in the world, but I can tr control what's going on in, in my mouth and in my body, and I can control what I'm eating for better health and exercising. The other thing I should add for number six, a bonus, I have been exercising at least five days a week. As a matter of fact, I've been exercising about twice a day. So that really helps with weight loss too. These are some of my weight loss tips. I want to hear from you in the comments below. Every one of us is different. What helps you to drop weight? What are some of your very, very best tips? And how do you stop cravings if you have them? I'd love to hear from you. You'll be hearing on my next weight loss update May 1st. But let me just tell you this. It's April and I'm already losing more weight this month too. So that's good. So this is Money Mom signing off. I thank you. I love you and appreciate your support. Bye-bye.